This week, I chose The Wasp Factory by Ian Banks. And I read that very same book. <laughs> Let's get into it. Mm hmm Okay, so we found Wasp Factory after looking for the top horror books of all time. We found it there. I don't think we could consider it a horror book, but regardless, here's the plot. So it revolves around a main character, Frank, who is 17 years old and is actually insane. And you see everything from Frank's perspective and how he really interacts with various odd parts of his life. He's killed cousins, he's killed his little brother, he's just killed a bunch of people around him, he does things with animals, he is basically in his own mind and is actually just bonkers. His character truly finds uh, uniqueness among the monotony of uh, everyday objects and odd rituals. The idea of the plot is that his brother, who was sent to an insane asylum or some hospital of some kind, is now escaped and coming back to the house. So you have these two brothers that are just out of their minds and they're living with a father, their father, who is also pretty weird. So you have this whole family of really weird people telling this very weird story. Part of the reason I enjoyed this book was because the storyline, for the most part, is not set entirely in the present and is more non-linear than a lot of different books. So you have Frank recapping his memories and really describing how things went wrong throughout his life and throughout his close family's life. A lot of this story revolves around making stuff sound as messed up and creepy as possible and Ian does a good job of making it sound creepy. He use, uses certain phrases and certain words and tries to like think about what would creep us out the most and basically does that, which is why I think it is kind of a creepy book. Not a horror book, but it is a creepy book. There seem to be some forced resolution within the last few scenes of the book and the end sequence, which wrapped up an odd book kind of generically, I thought, but it still worked well with the interplay of everything. And I think that the book finishing in this way didn't really tarnish the rest of it. It was just kind of an odd resolution to it. Overall, I give this book a 3.75 out of 5 because it's very good. It knows what it's like aiming to do and does exactly that. It's a perfect, creepy book. I would give this book a 3.75 out of 5 because I thought that it was really unique in what it was. It wasn't like any other book I've read for quite a few different reasons and it, it held its own individuality very well. This is totally a book that I would put myself behind and I think you should go check it out.